function is called a quadratic function. The important information about a quadratic function is that the highest exponent is equal to 2. We have the most basic quadratic function over on the right, which is y equals x squared. We call this a parent function because there's no translations occurring. Now, to make it a quadratic, I said the highest exponent has to be 2. So, for example, another quadratic equation would be y equals x squared minus 7x plus 6. I could also just have y equals negative 1 half x squared. And the, all three of these equations would be quadratic because their highest exponent is 2. 2. Now, if I said y equals x cubed minus 2x squared, this would not be a quadratic function because here my largest exponent is 3 and not 2. The general shape of a quadratic function is called a parabola, and it's a U-shape. Each parabola contains a vertex, which is either the minimum or maximum point. Now, besides looking at the equation, another way to determine um, whether a function is quadratic is by looking at the table of values. And a function is quadratic if... The second differences are constant. And let me show you what I mean by that. We're going to calculate our distances just like you can do for a linear function. So 1 minus 4 is negative 3, negative 1, 1, 3. Now when I look at this first difference, it is not constant. So I'm going to try one more time. Negative 1 minus negative 3 is a positive, negative, excuse me. Negative 1 minus negative 3 becomes a positive 2. 1 minus negative 1, positive 2. 3 minus 1, positive 2. Now notice my second difference, all these numbers are constants, so that's how I know that I have a quadratic function. We can do another example. Calculating my differences, negative 1, negative 2, 2, 6. First set of differences are not constant, so I'm going to try it one more time, and I get a positive 4 each time I do that. So again, my row of second differences is constant, so that's how I know this table of values represents a quadratic function. Now a, func a quadratic function can be increasing or decreasing. I'm just going to sketch a basic parabola. For increasing, a quadratic function is increasing in this graph when it, from the vertex to the right. And it would be decreasing from the left side down to the vertex. I could also draw a parabola facing downward. It would be increasing from the left to the right till it hits the vertex. And then when it hits the vertex, it's going to start decreasing. And when I'm talking about increasing and decreasing, I'm talking about the y values. Quadratic functions do have a maximum or minimum. Um, for example, it's located, well, it's always located at the vertex. Okay. And if you look at the graphs above, this point, this vertex, would be my minimum because it's the lowest point. This vertex would be my maximum because it's the absolute maximum point. So a parabola is going to have either or. Last but not least, the rate, well almost, the rate of change is not constant. It can increase or decrease at different rates. And a parabola is always symmetric. It's called the axis of symmetry and it's always symmetric down the middle. So right down this line, I could fold my graph. If I painted this, folded it over, I would also have paint on the opposite side. So it's symmetric, and it's called the axis of symmetry.